Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Follow up CC to a gold card. You can crash into that with your Rel. You have the Nautilus. You have feathers you can pull back. This Actually, year. I really like it with a Zaya composition as well, because I feel like Zaya does level five, so no Crescent God. And you have positional advantage. Yehu was positioned better, had a little bit of extra prio because the wave advantage there. I mean, the gold is basically negligible, just given the fact that... Okay, Destiny going to come on through here. Is Yehu going to get thrown back? There is Sylvie looking for it, and he'll be able to get there. Dindin's got a gold card for him, and that is a very dead way. And first blood at 12 minutes goes to Call Me. Yeah, Call Me finally going to be able to look for that engage. Good doesn't have teleport, but they just have enough bottom side control to... They will turn this into a positive here. We'll see what that soul is going to be. Ocean again. Oh, for Rascal. Let's see how this fight goes. Yeah, Destiny going to come on through here as Dindon will join the fight. In goes the recombinant immediately. He's gold carded. And now Jiwoo's going to be on the board. Decent work, though, by Yahoo as Sylvie is going to be his first target. Jiwoo trying to get out of there. And he will successfully escape the Blade Caller working out as well. But the Dragon, that's going to be soul point picked up for DRX. And now the re engage once again. Dindon going to have to fly. To get himself out of the way, and Yehu just destroys Jiwoo as he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. And now the long range poke coming on in. Dindon will survive that one, but Nongshin back into the game as if you can get a high value target, blow them up first. Oh, yeah, without using too, too many resources. I think the honest 5v5s is not how Nongshin wants to be starting fights on this map with this Callista composition. Feels fantastic. They're going to inject a bit more gold though. That is going to be the first quarter. Fights look on the Azir than the Huey did. As, all right, call me. Does manage to grab it. The flash comes through, but it's not quite enough. And now the way tries to get the ultimate damage across. Dundon is almost just dead, though. And a Cassante is going to be in there. The all out comes down. Call me is ripped to shreds. And yeah, you'll trade that, your mid laner, for two. Definitely. And the, the problem with this play for me is. If Yehu hits that flash, you lose those members and you don't get Yehu. You barely got Yehu. You just were not in a position to force that. Now they're in even more trouble. Yeah, Featherstorm does come down, but there's the Fates call to deny any of the damage. Magnus Storm trying to get the work done as Jiwoo is going to get knocked up. Sponge just gets another audacious charge. Peter trying to be a hero, but there is no damage left in this fight. And DRX will just clean them up. Nongshim, that's so that one overextension cost them everything. Yeah, that's soul. That's yeah. bad back off so no one's here to defend this one that's gonna be a lot of money going into Yahoo's pocket so they still get some more additional gold but it's all of this river exactly okay there's a flash from Peter to try and start this one off but they walk over a control ward so the vision is actually equal between these two teams Rascal now taking a few autos, but he's definitely capable of doing that as Pleta dives into the back line. He finds the quickness onto Jiwoo, and Emperor's Divide now to try and protect him, get him into a good position. Sylvie can't really get this one done, though, as Rascal had soaked everything. The Rakan goes down, Nongshim still trying to stand their ground, and there goes the Cassante. I don't know about this one, as the Sand Soldiers come on in, and Teddy is going to get taken down, turned in with a beautiful gold card. He's got another one now as the Crushing Maw comes comes in, Dindin has been sacrificed, and Sponge is going to do it! The Zaya goes down and DRX, they win everything! They win everything, it looked so rough when Teddy went down there, but it doesn't matter if Sponge gets in range. Oh, that full health fight. Plata knows that he has this control ward here, this could be a really snap engage from him. Yep, the Baron, full information over to Nongshim. Another flank angle here as well for Sylvie, who Magnus Storms tries to get on top of the Kalista, who goes Golden Empress Divide to try and stop Pleta from getting in there. And it's Jiwoo. They need to try and keep him safe. Featherstorm going to be used here as Teddy takes down Sylvie. Two already lying on the floor. Make that three. Jiwoo managing to get at least maybe one here, but he will now be routed. Call me down as well. It's a quadra for this jungler. 7 0 6 for Spawn. He out here sponging him up, and I think the next thing is going to be a Nexus. Yep, they're going to take the game with that one. There were definitely some moments. Nongshin was gifted a few extra opportunities in this game, but trying to get on top of the arm guard holding way was probably not the angle, and there was a flanking recon on the other side, and they didn't know. And the engage from Sylvie, I think he was initially just trying to figure out where the recon was, and he was like, well, I got to go in. But he went in on the wrong target, and arm guard rules the day again for another mid laner. Peter's going to respawn, but only to watch the tragedy of his Nexus falling. Yep, Sylvie also going to come down and just try and be a nuisance, but nothing is going to to stop DRX from taking this one to game number three.
We knew it was going to be scrappy. We knew it was going to be messy. But I didn't know that it was going to be three games. And we do 